NYPD steak bed truck. Tanker truck. And the dump truck. Greenlight SD Truck Series 3, released April 2018. This is the newest release from the SD Truck Series. Full three vehicle set. We're going to open up all three of these vehicles and do a full review on them. Check out all the cool accessories that come with these vehicles. I've contacted Greenlight to see what the SD actually stands for as there has been a bit of a debate over that. Originally I was under the impression it stood for Severe Duty. However, many people have brought up the fact that it probably stands for Super Duty. I'm not sure exactly, so hoping still to get an answer from Greenlight so I can let you guys know. In the meanwhile, let's get these three amazing vehicles opened up for the first outdoor video of 2018. Release 3 of the SD trucks includes the same 3 Workstar International dump truck, tanker truck, and stake bed truck we've seen in the past 2 releases. Of course with a new decoration and paint job. I do have release 1 out here as well, and release 2. But we'll just be doing a review on these 3 newest vehicles, hoping that Greenlight will provide some new castings for the Workstar, such as a tow truck or fire truck. There's lots of suggestions I've received in the comments over the past two reviews. So hopefully Greenlight watches this video and we see some newer castings as well. All that being said, these are three great castings, so if you have missed the first two releases, you've got an opportunity to get them in the wild at your local department stores, such as Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us if you're in Canada. And just before we open up these packages, we'll do a quick review. SD Trucks Series 3, each of them is the same on the back so you can read that message about the truck if you like. The packaging has stayed relatively unchanged over the past three releases. And the first rig we're taking out of the package is the 2017 International Workstar NYPD platform with stake and public safety accessories. Quite a mouthful for a name on that truck, but these are all the same cabs as we've seen before, as I indicated before, but the first time we're seeing a lot of accessories other than just a single figure, which has been seen with the previous flatbed and stake trucks in the past. Well, no, sorry, correction, that's for the heavy duty trucks, I'm getting confused here. We haven't seen any accessories with the severe duty stake bed truck until now. So taking that out of the package, right off the bat, that's a big heavy rig. You can feel the quality in the weight of this vehicle, a solid metal chassis, rubber tires, and very well packaged. We can see that the accessories are firmly in there. There we go. So we get two pylons, police line, barricades, and these of course are also 164 scale. So let's put those next to the truck. There's another pylon. And it appears that the barricades do need to be assembled. So let's, let's just dump this all out here. See if we can get one assembled for you. So we'll work on that later. Get them assembled for the end of this video. But first, I'll take a look at the truck once again. The stake bed portion is removable, as it has been in the past on all the vehicles. Other than the stake bed and the actual back flatbed, that's the only plastic parts on the truck really. And of course chrome accessories such as mirrors and grill, but really quality die cast construction. They roll exceptionally well. The next vehicle we're going to look at is the big 2017 International Workstar dump truck in blue. Let's crack it out now.
There it is. Glistening in the morning sun. Chrome sparkling all over the place. Really shows you the details. There's the functioning dump apparatus on the truck. Perhaps since we're outdoors we'll see if we can find some sand to fill it with and do a actual demonstration. Really nice looking trucks and as you can see I got these things put together without any trouble at all. I just need to go off camera so I could really look at the fine details of the little pieces but quite quality construction heavy duty plastic really nice trucks alright the final vehicle in series 3 is a highly decorated Quaker State Pennzoil 2017 International Workstar tanker For the most part, the packaging really does take care of the vehicles, so they arrived most of the time undamaged. I did notice just after I put the dump truck down that one mirror was a little crooked, but I straightened it out. A little dab of hobby glue will fix that right up. At least it's still on there. And this truck appears to be fully intact. Lots of tires on this one, as you can see. Another heavy vehicle. The only part plastic is the tank and this one has the opening service area which normally I need a hobby knife to open that. I have shown that in previous releases but it has basically a bunch of detailed pumps and meters in there that a fuel tanker would have for the operator to dispense the fluids on board. In this case most likely gasoline, diesel or oil. 1305 on the placard Hopefully someone out there with a TDG can let me know what that stands for. And another great color combination for the tanker truck. Really nice piece. So there you have it. Well thank you guys and girls for watching my review video of Greenlight's SD Trucks 3. Hopefully by SD Trucks 4 I'll tell you what SD stands for. And uh, if you're looking for these vehicles, happy hunting.